Say my foot to some cacre was a payment. Yo, Kofi, oh my, yeah, woman. A year ago, we told you the story about the true state of the independent square. A story of neglect, a story that didn't look so good. One year down the line, we have come back to check what is really happening. Come with me and let's find out more. Last year, I'm sure you remember, on the 5th of March 2018, we reported to you how the concrete, supposed to be playing uh, a cover to the iron rods, have exposed the iron rods because they have withered, perhaps expired, I don't know about that. But this year, you can tell the cracks are there, the iron rods are exposed and they are alive and well all over the Independent Square. Last year also, I'm sure you do remember how we told you about a particular situation where one of the gates, the iron gates, supposed to be held on by a hinge, was hanging off loosely. It was then hanging on to this hinge and this other hinge couldn't hold it on. This year, progress work is that the iron gate has fallen off completely and we have had to put it here. There's a generating plant in there. Its other brother on this other side is hanging onto one hinge, just like its brother had done in the last year. And guess what? It's shaky. It has a wire holding it together. That's just one part of the story at the Independence Square. Come with me, let me show you something under the stands. If you come with me under the stands, you also find that the iron rods, which we told you were exposed last year, are now hanging off dangerously. That's another part of the Independence Square. I'm willing to take you onto another part for you to see the other side of the story. Come with me. Then again, we'd like to remind you of something we brought to your attention last year on the 5th of March 2018. The deep cracks in the stands. And this is the walkway to one of the stands. It's showing excessive cracks. The independent square seems to be breaking apart piece by piece and I decide to tread on dangerous path. You can tell the stairs are coming off, the breaking off piece by piece. That was the story we told last year. And nothing, absolutely nothing seems to have changed. The staircase is coming off. And this is where the audience will usually come out to chair on Independence Day, on Republic Day, on Workers' Day, or any other national occasion or public gathering will sit. It has space for about 30,000 people. The seats are augmented sometimes on the main square. But last year we told you how the cracks have taken over, inundated the edifice. And this year the story hasn't changed. I'm sure if you look around, you find a few people taking a nap uh, because the breeze here it's refreshing. But this is the state of the Independence Square. I remember when these chairs were put up. They were magnificent, glamorous, and colorful. They told the story of our national flag, red, gold, and green with a bit of black. Today, like we told you a year ago in 2018, it's 2019, and the story hasn't changed. There's more damage than there was before, and the chairs, largely, are nowhere to be found. And usually there's painting around here on the 5th of March to ensure that the place is kept prim and proper, speak and span and neat for the independence anniversary celebrations. This year, 
It's not happening in Accra, I'm sure you're aware. It's happening in Tamale. And so if you turn around, you'd see that there's no painting that's happening at the point. Could this the lack of painting be a sign of neglect on Independence Square? Come with me, let's find out some more. And this is supposed to be a conduit box or a switch, whatever it is. But there you can see the wires hanging out. There's a twin here. It's also hanging out. That's it. Hanging out. Same story, paint spilling off. Everything seems to be out and about. Who's in charge? So last year, we told you about a breaking bridge concealed under the guise of a wooden bridge. This year, the situation persists. What exactly could be the prospects of this bridge put together by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah as we move on into a brand new year? Welcome to the last port of call of our visit to the Independent Square. It's 5th of March 2019 and last year we told you about the deplorable state of the stairs that lead up to the receptacle of the perpetual flame and also the statue of the unknown soldier. This year, the situation remains same. Nothing has changed and it does appear that the situation has worsened because the wobbly stairs are now breaking apart. It has been a rather tormenting, disappointing and exasperating journey through the Independence Square today. A year ago, we told you the story about the state of the Independence Square. This year, the flags are flying very high, but the health of the Independent Square lies flat on its back, perhaps deep down the hole. The perpetual flame receptacle is there, and if the celebrations had gone on here, it would have gone up in flames and showed how excited we are. The unknown soldier also stands up, chin in, chest out. But is this the story we want to tell the world at 62? Think carefully about it, the story you have seen, and irrespective of your political leanings, let your patriotic self take center stage and let it forge forward. For TV3 News, Johnny Hughes, Independent Square, Accra. Yeah, my, 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 yeah